All right, well, I'm having luck with this uh, new cell design here. And it's the one that uh, I nicknamed Humpty Dumpty because it fell apart and I put it back together again. And it, it worked. It's a semiconductor kind of thing with crystals between the two uh, metals. And uh, yesterday I made one and encased it in, uh, in uh, hot glue. And uh, that worked out real good. And uh, it actually is uh, quite successful. But I wanted to carry on uh, my research and delve into the uh, John Bedini's latest um, uh, carbonate cells. And uh, it's, it's, uh, this particular one here is made with sodium carbonate and uh, these silica crystals that dry out stuff in pill bottles and things. And uh, this is uh, sodium carbonate. It's not bicarbonate, which is baking soda. This is uh, used in uh, tie dyeing, and you get it uh, at the store. And it's uh, sodium carbonate. It's different than sodium bicarbonate. And then these uh, silica crystals, uh, they sell them for drying out flowers. But uh, I had some that were uh, little packets, so I, I made this up. And I made this little cell here. And the difference between this cell here, which is completely sealed, and the carbonate cell, which uh, John is uh, working on and, and telling us about, is it does use water in such a way that it um, does not attack the metals. And it, you have to be uh, oxidized on, uh, on the magnesium to protect it. And then the uh, copper has to be that uh, dual semiconductor where it's uh, heated until it's uh, blackened and then left intact before the crystals are put in. But uh, that runs this uh, penny oscillator extremely well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between this one here, which was the salt substitute alum, and um, I believe I had uh, borax in there too in the crystalline things. The electrodes are the same as over here as far as the uh, oxidation, but let me show you the difference in uh, the amount of power that this carbonate cell puts out versus this other one. And that's why John has gone that direction with power. So let me uh, show you how this works here. Disconnect the penny one. I'll put this on here. And watch this pick up more and more and more speed. And that's, like I say, the same dimensions as this, uh, this one here. But the power output is uh, greatly better. And so that's, uh, I believe, why John has gone that direction, uh, is to get more power out of these crystalline cells. And they do. But I tell you, this, uh, this stuff here is starting to look to me more and more like an electrical component rather than uh, a battery of any kind, uh, the way they work and stuff. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty impressed with the, the way this is heading. And thanks, John, for all the help you've uh, given us. And uh, all the guys that are working on the thread over at Energetic Forum, thanks for all the input and all the help.